In this video, we're going to simplify exponential expressions. So we're just going to be taking all of the exponent rules that we have learned so far and putting them together to solve some examples. So on number one, we have three to the x to the three times x to the fifth raised to the second power. So I'm going to distribute this exponent of two. So I'll have three squared times x to the tenth power. Because remember that this x or this 3 has an exponent of 1. So 1 times 2 is 2. This x has an exponent of 5. 5 times 2 is 10. Can I simplify this further? Yes, I can. 3 squared is 9. So I will have 9x raised to the 10th power as my final answer. On example two, we have a couple different things going on. The first thing is I have a quotient raised to a power, and so I need to distribute that power to everything in there. So this x has an invisible exponent of one, this two has an invisible exponent of one. So when I distribute, one times four is four, so that gives me x to the fourth. One times four is four, so it's gonna give me two to the fourth. And 3 to the, um, times 4 is 12, so that would be y to the 12th. I can simplify this further. I can evaluate this numeric expression. 2 raised to the 4th power, let's see, my calculator. 2 raised to the 4th power is 16. So I'll have 16y to the 12th in my denominator. Now I can't subtract these exponents because my bases are different. This is an x and this is a y. They're not the same letter. So there's nothing else I can do on this one. So my answer is x to the fourth divided by 16y to the twelfth. On example three, I have like bases. What is my base? Here my base is x. I'm going to start with my numerator. I'm going to keep my base of x, and I'm going to add my exponents. What's 2 plus 7? 9. And then I still have my denominator of x cubed. So now I have a quotient, so I'm dividing. And so I want to keep my base of x, and I want to subtract my exponents. Numerator minus denominator. 9 minus 3, and so that's going to give me an answer of x raised to the 6th power. On example 4, what is my base? A. I have a quotient, so I'm going to subtract my exponents. Numerator minus denominator. 3 minus 4 is negative 1. Now, in our directions, it says answers should only contain positive exponents. So I cannot leave this like this. I need to simplify further. We know to make a negative exponent positive, we can move it into our denominator. 1 over a to the first is the same thing as 1 over a. That is my answer. If we look at example five, I have like bases. Um, let's go ahead and begin by simplifying our denominator. Here my base is two, and I am multiplying like bases in my denominator, so I need to add my exponents. This two has an invisible exponent of one, so I'm gonna have four plus one, which is five. My numerator is gonna stay the same. To divide like bases, I'm going to keep my base of 2, and I'm going to subtract my exponents. 5 minus 5 is 0. Well, we learned that anything raised to the 0th power is 1, so our answer is 1. 
On number six, we have a quotient. So r to the zeroth power divided by r cubed. There's two different ways that you can look at this problem. You could say, okay, anything raised to the zeroth power is one. So my answer is one over r cubed. The other way you could think about it is you could say, okay, I'm gonna keep my base of r and I'm gonna subtract my exponents. Zero minus three is negative three. While I can't have a negative exponent, I need to make that negative exponent positive. So either way, you would get one over r cubed. Let's go ahead and try just two more examples. Why don't you take a second and pause the video and do something like this. So see if you can do those two examples. What you'll do in problems like this is you're gonna begin by multiplying your coefficients. Here, two times two is four. We're gonna keep our base of x and we are gonna add our exponents. Four plus five is nine. So here our answer is four x to the ninth. On example eight, we are going to begin by multiplying our coefficients. Three times seven is 21. We are gonna keep our base of y and we are going to add our exponents. Five plus nine is 14. So here our answer is 21y to the 14th power.